Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. Uh, we're going to be installing the Melling 10355 high volume oil pump on the car today. Uh, replacing the stock LSA pump, which is the equivalent to the 10355. Uh, this pump uh, gives a little bit more volume, a little bit more pressure, uh, which is what we're wanting at this point. And let me show you a few things about what's in the box. So it comes with instructions, of course, the pump itself, two O-rings. You can barely see the green one there, which is the one we're going to use for the LSA. And then a yellow spring, a green spring, and it is assembled with an orange spring inside. So if you're wanting 10% lower pressure on compared to the orange spring, you would replace it with the yellow one. If you're wanting um, an increase of pressure 10% over the installed one, you would use uh, the green spring. We're gonna leave it this way. Should give us about 70 PSI. Uh, this would take us to 80. I don't think it's necessary for the RPM I'm running. Um, it'll be interesting to see what pressure I actually get out of it. Hopefully I don't have to tear into it again. It'll be a pain in the butt. So yes, the green O-ring is to replace the orangish red O-ring on the LSA. And it gives pretty detailed instructions here on different types of pickup tubes, what they look like, and which O-ring to use. Straight, tapered, or an O-ring groove end. So here's the stock pickup tube O-ring. It's red. And even the tube has red paint around it. I guess the factory did that. That's kind of strange. But you can see there's a slight taper to it. So whether it's cut or there's a taper, either way it's the green O-ring. And it even says if your O-ring was red to use the supplied green O-ring. You may not want to do this. Um, I probably wouldn't even suggest it. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and take the new pump apart. Probably voided the warranty, no doubt. Um, but I want to make sure everything inside is good, that there isn't any problems. Uh, when I took the gear set out, I marked it with a Sharpie. Now, I'm pretty sure these can go in any, as far as rotation goes, because as this thing spins, it goes from side to side anyway. But I did want to make sure I had the outside facing up, always. Doesn't look like there's much for lubrication on this at all from the factory but I wanted to check this so looking at the cover uh, I don't see any like major pieces of metal missing uh, it is anodized that's one of the things that the aftermarket one does over the uh, over the stock one but everything looks good here Make sure your hands are clean Definitely want to clean this thing off. I can see a little metal piece on there, so I don't see any major problems with this. It's kind of dirty. You can see all the cross hatching where they lap it to make it parallel on both sides. I'm just taking an inspection on the inside, especially this surface. Make sure that that surface is free of defects. Now this probably does void my warranty opening this up, but my engine is worth more to me than a $200 warranty on a pump because I guarantee if the pump fails and I lose my engine, they don't give me a new engine. They give me a new oil pump. And that's if, uh, they find out it was the oil pump's fault. So I'd rather take it apart and know what I'm looking at and put it back together 